In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your fuzzy logo graphics to a vector. Now, if you don't know what a fuzzy logo is, a fuzzy logo are logos that lose their quality when expanded. So let's say, for example, you have a certain size logo and you want to use that logo on your t-shirts. But when you resize it, the quality is lost and it's basically fuzzy. And many of you will encounter this problem. And the solution is really to get a graphic artist to redesign your logo in Adobe Illustrator and turn it into what we call a vector. A vector can be expanded so large that it could reach a billboard size and not really ever lose its quality because it's redesigned by a graphic artist in Adobe Illustrator as a vector. So how do you go about doing this? Is it expensive? How much does it cost? And it's really not expensive at all. It's, I can show you how to get somebody to do it for anywhere from five to $10. So as you can imagine, a vector is basically a high resolution image that you can expand on, place on billboards, bigger banners, bigger print designs, t-shirts, cards, and more. Let me give you an example of a fuzzy logo and I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how you can go about getting somebody to redesign your fuzzy logo. So this is an, an example of a logo that we took from a client and as you can see when it's expanded just in the PowerPoint slide itself, it's really fuzzy. So what we did was we basically had somebody vectorize the logo or turn the logo into a vector. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same thing. So a graphic designer basically traced it so that and redesigned it in an illustrator so it looks clear. And you might say, well, how do I know this is really working? Because this is just a PowerPoint slide. Well, this is an example. Notice that when I expand it further, it's still very, very clear. And I could expand it further and further and further, and it would still be clear. So let me show you how you can go about doing this so you can take your fuzzy logo or any fuzzy graphic that you have and have a graphic artist redesign it. So what you need to do is open your internet browser and hop on over to a site called Fiverr.com, as you can see here. Fiverr.com is a place where you can hire people to do a lot of different services and a lot of different things like graphic design, logo design, and so forth and so forth. Now, we're talking particularly about vectors. So if you type in something like image to vector and do a search on it, and then click on rating so that you make sure that the highest rated people are at the top and go down from that point. And you're particularly looking for somebody who is going to turn your existing graphic into a vector. Since we're not getting as much results, we can go up here and type to convert to vector. It says, I will design a vector logo or redraw and convert. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. I will convert your logo or image to a vector. Okay, that's what we're looking for. I will vectorize or redraw trace converts into a vector. And I'm going down here and I'm opening a bunch of these because what I'm going to do next is simply look at all of these to see which one's the best. I'll design vector logo with Adobe Photoshop. Okay, good. I'll convert within 24 hours. And anytime you see express, that means that it's 24 hours. Okay, so I'm going to look at all of these. So we got three days, 100%. Three days, 98%. And I'm going through the, here right now just looking at the ratings and how fast they can do it. So two days, 
hundred percent, three days, a hundred percent, 24 hours, a hundred percent. So that's actually more appealing to me. So what does this guy do? It says, um, I'll convert your logo and drawings into a vector graphics. Let's see here. No negative reviews, 29 positive reviews. Okay, good. So as you can see here, this is a good example of a vector. A vector, when you maximize the size, it's still clear. If it's a regular image, you resize it, it can get fuzzy. I will convert your logo. So we've narrowed it down to, we got three days, three days, two days, and 24 hours. The one thing I will do is it looks like everybody is really, really good. So what I would do normally is this. Create an account, contact the seller, and contact at least three sellers, see who responds the fastest, and say, this is my graphic, and send them the graphic, and say, hey, this is my graphic. Um, do you think you can do this uh, fairly quickly and easily? And see who responds the fastest and the quickest and go with them. Because you'll notice that some of these people are may be in a different country. And that's fine if the, that's the quality that, that they give you. Because they have to give it within two days regardless. But the reason why I say who responds the fastest is that's a good measure of who actually is a good seller because if they respond faster they actually care about you know helping you and so forth so that's how to convert a logo into a vector and getting somebody else to do it just make sure that you contact them ahead of time to make sure that they can